Hi dear students, how are you? Welcome back to part 2 of using proportional relationships. So let's start. We have reached until this point. This point, yeah. And uh, it's given here two triangles are similar. Two triangles are similar here. Triangle ABC, similar to triangle DEF. So if you have here two triangles similar, Remember that the ratios, okay, between the segments of the corresponding segments like A, B over D, E, 5 over 10, okay, 5 over 10, it's the same as B, C over E, F, B, C, 3 over 6, and it's the same as A, C over F or D, F, so it's here 4 over 8. So, if you simplify every one here, okay, if we simplify every one, you got here half, 5 over f 5 over 10, 5 divided 5, it's 1, 10 divided 5 equals 2, 3 over 6, the same half, and 4 over 8, the same half. So, with all the ratios here, we got here a half. Okay, and also what? So, we have here two triangles are similar. The perimeter ratio will be also what? Guess what? The same half. The same half. Okay. The perimeter of ABC over the perimeter of DEF will be what, guys? 12 over 24. 12 over 24. So, here, remember the perimeter 3 plus 5 plus 4. Here, the perimeter, the sum of all outside length. And here, also, the sum of all outside length. 10 plus 6, 16 plus 8 will give you that 24. Okay, guys, after simplifying means dividing, it gives you here the half. And also, the area of ABC. Okay. So, here, the area of the triangle, half base times height. Half base here, the base is PC. Half base times height, the height here is 4. So half of 3, it will be 1.5. 1.5 times 4 gives you 6. What about the other one? Half base times height. Half the base here, half of 6 is 3. Times the height, the height we have got here 8 is 24. So, if we do here the two areas, okay, the ratio of the two areas, 6 over 24, after simplifying 6 over 24, it will give you what? Fourth. Remember this fourth, it's the square, it's here the squared of what? Of half. It's squared of half. So, we have got here, it's here half squared. So, it's the same as half squared. So, I conclude that here, if the similarity ratio of two similar figures A over B, here it's like, for example, 1 over 2. So, the perimeter will be the same A over B. It means here, as an example, 1 over 2. And according to the area, it will be A to the power 2 or A power 2 over B power 2 or A to all squared the same as this one guys okay it's easy okay guys we have here this example given here we have here given a uh, triangle lmn uh, the ratio of triangle lmn to triangle qrs find the perimeter p and the area a of qrs Okay, guys, we have here two triangles. This is a very easy example. Two triangles. Okay, the two triangles here are similar. Okay, so we have got what? And we have got here what, guys? The, ra the similarity ratio. What is the first question I ask myself? What's the similarity ratio? How can I do it or find it? LM over q r it's the similarity ratio l m over q r it's 13 over 9.1 okay guys okay so this is the similarity ratio what about the perimeter the perimeter will be what who knows 
Of course, it will be the same as 13 over 9.1. And what about the area? The area will be 13 over 9.1 all squared. Why? Because looking back to this example, this example, guys, when I find the ratio, the similarity ratio, the parameter ratio will be the same. The parameter ratio will be the same. And the area ratio will be squared. Area ratio will be squared. Okay, guys? So it's easy like this. Okay? So the answer is written like this. Here I have uh, another thing here. He gives me the parameter and if he asks me here a question, this is the ratio. But the question was what? To find the ratio or to find the real parameter and real area, real parameter and area. So we have another steps we should follow. Let's complete. So how can I find the real parameter? Remember the parameter of ABC. I got back here to show you the rule parameter of triangle ABC over the parameter of triangle DEF. Okay, and gives me the ratio, okay, at the end. So, how can I do it here? I will take here, I know the parameter of triangle LMN, 36 over the parameter of triangle QRS, the, the required, equals to the ratio that I know, 13 over 9.1. Cross multiplication, you got here the parameter, and it's very easy. After cross multiplication, 13 times P equal 36 times 9.1. So P will be 25.2. Okay, guys, what about this one? I have here the area. The area, the same as the perimeter, but squared. The ratio will be squared. 60 over the area equals 13 over 9.1 squared. Cross multiplication, 13 squared A equals 9.1, which is squared. Again, 9 point, guys, this is important. 13 squared and the 9.1 also squared. Okay? Times what? 9.1 squared times 60. So you've got here 13.a squared a equals 9.1 squared times 60. How can I solve it? 13 times 13, 13 times 13, and 9.1 times 9.1. Squared means the number is double. I can say 9.1 times 9.1. Then the answer gives you 29.4 after calculations. This is for the area and this is for the parameter. Thank you, dear students, for listening. If you have any problem, please send me on Google Classroom or the new system. Bye-bye.